We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I've got the great pleasure of being with Rumeta Benyamina, who is Minister of Communications, Transport and Tourism Development for Kiribati. Minister, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. Okay. I'd like to start off by talking about Kiribati and the climate change issues that are affecting you. All right. Um, as you all know, the, um, the islands of Kiribati are, um, are very low-lying atolls. I think the, the, first, the first lot to um, encounter any, any impact of climate change, especially uh, sea level rise and um, coastal erosion. And that's the fact. And what impact is this going to have on telecoms and ICTs? Um, I think we cannot, um, uh, uh, we cannot um, escape from the fact that uh, we badly need um, ICT infrastructure development because we are at the mercy of the, this um, impact of uh, climate change. One uh, example will be um, um, communicating with our people throughout, uh, especially from island to island. And uh, we should be able to tell them, uh, give early warnings of what's going on, so that people are at least prepared to make their decisions to try and protect themselves from uh, the, the, the harsh conditions of uh, climate change. And how serious and uh, in what time scale are we looking at in terms of this threat? Well, according to um, the uh, international um, uh, body of, uh, which is um, disseminating information on climate change throughout the, the, um, the world, it is taking place and there are evidence uh, all over the place that uh, uh, people are, are gradually uh, being affected um, in terms of uh, uh, their, their own survival and livestock and their homes. And so I think we cannot um, uh, say that um, it may take um, um, uh, two or three weeks. No, it will happen. And the fact is it will happen over 50, 60 years. There are already evidence of that in, in Kiribati. And what does it mean uh, to be living under this kind of a threat? It means we have to be um, prepared, resilient. We have to uh, adapt ourselves to whatever impact that are forthcoming. And we are grateful of the, um, the aid that um, we have received through bilateral and other um, uh, UN agencies that are uh, providing us with the options of adapt and be able to, to um, uh, 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 face what, what consequences are coming. And how has ITU been uh, helping Kiribati to address these issues? ITU has uh, uh, helped Kiribati in, in many ways. Um, I must say, first of all, in, in, in the way uh, how we should um, uh, develop our um, uh, ICT infrastructure. And I, I guess we have also uh, received uh, uh, assistance in terms of uh, regulation and uh, policy reg uh, regarding uh, ICT development. We would want to see more of these uh, forthcoming and uh, especially to help us prepare ourselves and to try and um, establish all the uh, necessary infrastructures on the Alta Islands. If that's the case, um, ITU uh, to prepare us, we will be grateful. But we will continue to become a full ITU member as long as uh, we can. And um, we are thankful that they have also provided us with uh, funding telecenters on some of the Alta Islands, which is great. So is there a situation that you envisage where you would have to carry on business from elsewhere, so perhaps even e-governance? E uh, that might um, uh, take place eventually, but uh, again, um, this will be years and years to come. But we, we, we need the ITU support in this, uh, whatever um, um, approach that we should be uh, given so that we are prepared. And, um, uh, this may take place in, in, in the next two or three generations to come. I do hope the ITU now is the same ITU in the, in the next two or three generations. You know, you know what I mean? Giving the same support and perhaps uh, help us in, the, in any other way. What do you hope to take away from this conference? It's every four years. What do you hope will be some of the outcomes? Okay, I haven't really looked at, um, because this is our first time to attend, um, but it is important that uh, we, are, we are not left out of the, uh, of, the, of the program or of whatever the development um, uh, uh, progress is, is going on. <laughs> so it is um, equally important for us to keep on attending and, and 
what is more important is the ITU to, to see our needs, the needs of the, the small island states. And this morning I was told that there, there was a special session for that um, um, in, in terms of uh, broadband, the benefits of broadband uh, for sustainable development, addressing the needs of small island states. And I, I think we are going in the right direction, the right, uh, the right approach. So I would want to see more, more of the uh, involvement of ITU uh, addressing uh, the needs of small island development states, <clears throat> in particular their infrastructure uh, uh, challenges, remoteness in terms of uh, accessing these, and so forth. So I think uh, whatever is discussed here is important to, to us all, not only to uh, developed countries, but we need to be uh, part of the, uh, the, the partnership that uh, we always talk about. Minister, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. And thank you for watching.